Hi, it's Therese and Lost in Paper and I'm back with another in my series Cards for Men. And today I'm going to be playing with this Quetzalcraft elephant. It's from the Lay Jungles set and I'm standing him out directly on my card front. So this is a top fold landscape card and I am using some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And this is a red rubber stamp and I have a clear block that I permanently have some tack and peel adhered to so that way the red rubber stamp I can just pick it up and use it like a normal um, almost like a normal cling like a clear stamp except that you can't see the image exactly so I just sort of guessed that it was straight but if you wanted to be perfectly sure you could use like a tool like a um, misty or um, a stamp of magic. So I'm going to be coloring with my Prismacolor pencils today and I'm using some warm greys and what I like to do here is actually add most of my color before I add my Gamsol and use my blending stumps to blend it out and that way I can always come back in and add a bit more depth. The other, I, the other way I sometimes do it is I actually add uh, one layer, blend it out, add the add the shading and the depth and then blend that out. But I find this is quicker and easier and I don't have to concentrate quite so much. <laughs> so these images are really quite easy to colour because they have a lot of the shading or the shaded areas already kind of marked out for you. And I've really just followed those and added the color and I have added the color in the way that the image is. Now what I mean there is I haven't sort of, I've gone with the shape of the elephant rather than sort of scratch across it. I've actually um, drawn my pencils in the same direction if that makes sense. I know that's probably a little bit confusing. But if you watch I suppose you might see what I mean. <laughs> I'll try and think of an easier way to explain it. I did add some shadow beneath the actual elephant because I thought it would just ground him a little bit better because um, even though he has that line underneath him it just was lacking a shadow so I did come in with a warm and a cool grey for that just to add a little bit of contrast. So very simple colouring today. So my sentiment is uh, matching sort of they're two separate sets but they're both from Neat and Tangled so the stamp set's called Awesome and the die set's a nice and neat die called Awesome and I have cut it out with some bright red cardstock because I thought that would really pop on the front of this card. This is actually a retirement card and um, the request was for a retirement card for a, a gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of fellow. So someone that made me smile. I thought this elephant he certainly makes me smile. I did pop that up on some fun foam. I used black fun foam just to really help that sentiment pop. And then I've got my onyx black ink for my the remainder of my sentiment and I didn't stamp it very well. It is new and I haven't stamped it before and I didn't prep my stamp. <laughs> so bad me. Anyway it's easy when you stamp with black because you can just come in with your uh, a black marker. This is a, happens to be a Copic multi-liner and I've just added those details in. I've got my matte medium again and I'm trying not to add too much glue. I have a tendency to add too much glue to the back of my sentiment so I'm trying to add less is best and I've just put some dots on the back of that and left some of the black um, fun foam in situ too just to give a little bit of um, a fun element I suppose. And that's my finished card for today. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.